Only one defeat since we last seen you. It's FC Bullard. Yes, we are flying along nicely. Millwall, the only team to beat us. Get in there! Yes, we've been in fine form. It has been, well, a season of just unbelievableness, to be honest. Since we last seen you, we went on a three-game unbeaten run without conceding a goal. We've only conceded, yes, five goals since... QPR, when we conceded our first goal for ages. We beat QPR 5-1. Absolutely bonkers game of football. Even Sheffield Wednesday, but then Millwall, a 3-2 defeat, which means currently we are top of the table. <sighs> goal difference of 14, absolutely flying. And we've made a few more signings as well. We had the old dreaded, you haven't got enough depth for goalkeeper. We've sorted that out, I can tell you that now. Alex Schmitz. Now, he is a Denmark player. He comes in from Micheland, only on loan, but straight away sorted it. He had a clean sheet in his first game, a 7.5. We're not necessarily going to start him, even though he has been promised to be a uh, important player. <laughs> yes. We've also got another loanee. Yeah, Achand Ildiz. Now, he is a right back. We were desperate for a right back. He's more of a centre half, but at six foot and jumping reach of nine and heading of seven, I think he is probably destined to be a fullback, to be honest. But 18 years of age, in from Galatasaray on loan. Again, another one. He's going to be a regular starter, apparently. No, he's not. But um, those are the two new signings we've had. We have also got another goalkeeper coming in. <laughs> He's only six foot tall, but in from PSV, I thought if we get a couple, it might just appease them because we've um, we've let go of our other goalkeeper. Yes, where is he? Three transfers, released players then? Was he released? Yeah, Jack Rose, fussed and moaned, had a bit of a whinge up. He's gone now as well. But we have also sold a player. I say sold because I don't think he'll ever be back. Charlie Bettino has gone out to Newcastle United Jets out in Australia to play. They're paying his wages, so that's all we care about. It's off the wage bill. He, again, wouldn't sign a new contract, so I thought, sod it, let's just get rid of him. So today, we have got Plymouth Argyle and Bolton Wanderers. Yes, yeah, two cracking games. And the team to play Plymouth Argyle. Anson in goal, Smith, Wallach, Costa and McCallum. Yes, quick pick. We'll put Slater back in, but we're not starting in there. In fact, he's going to come on the bench. Midfield two of Bullard and Cooley. Cooley's first choice now that the other one's gone. Patino. I've even forgotten his name already. Bowie on the right. Ricky J. Jones on the left. Curran and Dominic up front. Now, this is not set in stone, but... Curran has been flying. He's actually up to a three-star player now as well, which is great news. Camacho on the bench, but quick pick again. We'd put him in there. Apparently, he's one of the best players at the club, so we'll see what happens. But Ricky J. Jones, with four assists and one goal, is doing nicely. Camacho, three assists, one goal. Not a lot of difference. Right, let's go and play Plymouth. Yeah, home park. Ignore the recent praise. Just go out and play your natural game. Wallach is absolutely buzzing with that. Here, Home Park is looking not like it is currently. <laughs> it's not looking very full. Interesting, interesting. Bullard gets the ball in. Bowie oh, onto the roof of the net. Now, this corner is filled in in real life. That is right. Have they got a big TV screen? Up the other end. But we only want to see the other end in the second half, really. Ten minutes gone. Quick encourage. Come on, boys. Kamara for them. Over the ball. Wright's still here. Randall's still here. No, they haven't got the TV screen there. Holly Mumba's still here. Goodness me, they've got quite a few of the old boys still in abeyance. Now, 15 minutes gone. 
We've had a couple of shots. Plymouth have had more of the play. But McCallum now to Jones. McCallum trying to thread it through to Curran, but doesn't quite get there. Ricky J. Jones gets the ball back. McCallum to Jones. Jones into Cooley. Steps over. Dominic Bowie. Kieran Bowie. Fifth goal of the season. Beautiful stuff. The fans are going nuts. Yes, they're here in the corner. There's not many of them. They've been pegged into that corner. But my goodness me, that is a great way to open up the scoring on 20 minutes. Bowie past Mikey Cooper. Lovely stuff. Yes, that will do. Come on, let's keep this run going. We are flying along nicely. Three points clear at the top at the moment. I'd like to stay that way at the end of the game. Neil Critchley in charge of Plymouth Argyle these days. Thanks to Kamara. Kamara dilly-dallying with it. Three at the back for them. They are cutting right through us now, though. Bali Mumba in. What a save by Anderson. <laughs> Dane Scarlett playing for Swindon Town. Lovely header away. Oh, you're looking like Cooley was going to get there. Curran with the corner. In. Ricky J. Jones over the bar. He'll be kicking himself for missing that, it said. I totally agree. Coming up to half time now. 1 0 to the good. We have piled the pressure on. Nine shots equals at the moment. Half time looming. Costa's picked up a yellow card right at the wrong time. We've had the better possession. I'd like to see more of it. That is the way to do it. We have got this team in the palm of our hand. They are loving our tactics and our formations and all of that lot. Middlesbrough up to second place. Ricky J. Jones picked up a card. Costa's had a bit of a mare. Bullard's now picked up a card. I think, have we got some weird instructions going on here? Let's check a minute. No, we haven't got that going on. I thought we did. Four changes made. Ildiz, Slater, Williams and Camacho onto the pitch. Now, I don't really want to go to a balanced mentality. We've tried that a couple of times. It doesn't really work. Even though we've still won the games, but we've invited pressure on. Wallach. Into Camacho. Cooley. Cooley trying to find Dominic. Doesn't quite come off. Curran's going to come off, have a break. And it will be Sheldon coming on in his place. Plymouth have the ball back. There's about 20 minutes or so to go. And Plymouth are looking a bit stronger now. Mumba trying to get in. Don't give any silly things away. They've hit the post. Norton Cuffey playing for them as well. Anson comes out. All six foot seven of him. That's what we like to see. All right, little tactical change, I think, in a minute. Anson lumps it forward. Dominic wins the ball. That's what he's going to do because he's a big lad. Gamble. Gambling for them. Asaka's on the pitch as well. Mumba in. Asaka hits the post again. Costa away with it. Camacho trying to keep it in, but can't. Right. Mm, maybe we do need to go balanced. Mumba again. Another chance. They whittled it over the bar. Right. Bit of time wasting. Just a little bit. And also want to just switch Sheldon around there. Because Sheldon is more of the poacher. Where we can uh, we can get Dominique playing as a target forward on support. Asaka gets the ball in. The goal has been scored. It's one all. While oh, we're making little tactical changes. See, I went balanced. I said I wasn't going to do it. And we did it. And we've been made to pay. Yes, we will still make those changes. Positive mentality. A shout of encourage. Plymouth for bottom of the league as well. Oh my God. We've turned the game off, haven't we? That's the usual. Attacking football. Last minute of the game. Slater. <coughs> Excuse me. Camacho. Costa. Into Camacho. Camacho whips the ball in. Sheldon trying to get there. Cooper does get there. There's a minute left on the clock. Surely to goodness not. Mumba down this side. We have been all conquering. Freddy Asaka in. Bayo, Randall. Asaka offside. 
Goals being given. Oh my goodness me. It's two defeats on the trot. We lost to Millwall in the last game. We've now lost to Plymouth. That looked off. How is that not offside? When I saw it first of all, I thought it looked off. That is awful. And Plymouth have turned it right around and gone and beaten us. We're off the top as well. Far from pleased with that result. Right. Big game coming now. Well, it's time for the international break. And going into it, we've got 13 days till we play Bolton. 2-1 defeat. Freddy Asaka. Fenner says he's great. It's not that great. Right. Bolton to come. Let's go and do it. Oh, my goodness. Cooley, broken ankle, three to four months. Sent to the specialist, still going to be three to four months. That is devastating. Oh, my goodness me. We've just lost two games on the trot. And now we've gone and lost Cooley. Don't worry, son. You'll be all right. Three to four months without him. Oh, my days. Well, I suppose. Where is he? Who is it? Who will be transfer listed? Brendan Keller. We stuck him on the transfer list. Um, I guess uh, Brendan, Brendan, Brendan. How about uh, coming off a transfer list and uh, just enjoying a bit of football again? Yeah, did you fancy that? It'll not be surplus to requirements. You'll be a squad player again. Yeah. Good. Well done, son. <laughs> so I've gone and seen Fenners, and I said, "Who's available?" Um, well, there's a couple. Joe Rankin Costello. Apparently, he's available and. Looks pretty good. What's his agent say? We're very interested. We haven't got the financial muscle. But we did do it for Winks, and he would be keen. He's 33 years of age, though. Should we get him in for a short term? Star player. Be playing in a deep line playmaker role. As a defensive midfielder. No, we don't play with a defensive midfielder. You can be a star man. That's fine. Now, he said he wanted 2.8. We should be able to afford that. What? Hang on. Why is it? OK, we've got plenty of money. We can throw some money at him. Appearance fee. Yeah, we can give you more. We can even give you it all if you're not used. Goal bonus? Assist bonus? Team of the year bonus? Yeah, we'll throw it all at you. <laughs> Right, okay, maybe Harry Winks is coming in, but will he be in before the next game? Well, for ages it keeps saying that we should be playing Slater. So Slater's going to get a run today. <sighs> we haven't really got a lot else. Anson in goal. Smith at right back. Algefri, Costa and Slater comes in as your back four. Yeah, so McCallum goes down onto the bench. He's at a 6.05 for training, so I'm... Getting a bit cheesed off with him, even though he's still playing well. But Bullard and Williams in midfield. Bowie and Camacho out on the wings. Curran and player of the month, Dominic up front. Yes, let's go and do this, please. Yeah, he's not in yet. He's old winks. Maybe next game. It's time to put our poor run behind us. Go out there and make this game count. Poor run. We've lost two games, but I suppose... To be fair, that is a poor run. Right, here we go. Scott Gemmell in charge of Bolton Wanderers. Let's go and put on a performance today. Let's get back top of that table. Please and thank you. Anson picks up the loose pass forward, I suppose you could call it. Not quite sure what it was. It wasn't really a cross, was it? It was a free kick that was just lumped and no good. Dominic wins the ball again. Camacho. Lovely feet. Slater's got a book in already. Camacho trying to beat his man. Finds Williams. Dominic in. Dominic. Killian Dominic. Oh, he's offside. No. I don't believe it. How did Slater get booked already? Unbelievable. Big header away. Slater coming out to try and get to the ball. If he gets sent off today, after trying to give him a chance today... 
going to be livid. They're in. They're in. Oh, and Anson makes a save. In fact, let's go attacking. 16 minutes gone. Encourage. Come on, lads. Williams with a big error away. The six foot five central midfielder. That's pretty much what he is. <laughs> Costa gets the head this time. It's all Bolton. What's going on? I'm not liking this. Maybe teams have worked us out. We've had the opening few games and now teams are going, yeah, we're going to play full strength against you. Maybe your reputation of being an awful team isn't quite um, justified. So we're going to do a bit more. Bangora Williams, Slater, into Dominic, holding that ball up. Dominic turns, gives it to Bullard, Slater, back to Costa, forward, Dominic, in. This time, surely, Curran! Come on, Ryan Curran with his fourth goal of the season. That is more like it. 18 minutes on the clock. Dominic, playing as a poacher, because he's a big lad, he just gets stuck in and does love to get hold of the ball. Puts it across, Curran, side foot into the empty net. Lovely. Yes, old Dominic, six foot five of him. I say, he's in there as a poacher, but he doesn't really play as a poacher. It's an interesting concept with him because he just does like to just hold the ball up. Oh, what a save by Anson again. How can anyone say, it was offside, but that we've got no strength at goalkeeper? Seven of them. Seven of them come to me moaning. We need better strength at goalkeeper. Well, I'm sorry, but Anson's staying in goal. <laughs> Even though the other lad does look pretty good, but he is only on loan. So, happy with how it's going so far. Keep it going. Second half of football. They made a couple of changes. Bullard brings it down. Tries to get it forward, but wayward pass. Come on, lads. Nothing silly. Nothing silly. That's offside, isn't it? Ete gets the goal after the stroke of half time. That is not how we anticipated things. A bit of beration. Dominic, the six foot five boy, all to Williams, the big boy. Both of the six foot fives then involved. Slater, Slater, you're letting me down, son. McCallum on your come. Quick little change. Bowie in. Bangora Williams. How's he missed? How's he missed that? Make that change. We'll have a bit more down that left-hand side now. There's McCallum to Smith. Smith, where are you going, son? Goes back to Anson. Don't go letting me down now, boy. Bowie flicks it on to nobody. He has to chase his own flick on. Come on, not like this. Football manager Ete is in again. It's two. It's just like the previous game. What has happened? It's the old I've turned the game off and the random number generators kicked in, hasn't it? That's what it is. 100%. They score again now. Positive mentality. Quick subs. Three more changes made. Keller, Cleary and Jones onto the pitch. One more sub left to us. Sonny Algefri is having a shocker out there. Who was that? Bullard should be man marking. Operation. Boys, come on. What is going on? Smith to Cleary. Smith back to Algefri, who is not having his greatest game out there. We've got two centre-halves that are injured. It's not great news. Ricky J. Jones down this left-hand side, cuts inside, tries to get there, but does win the ball back. Finds Bullard in to Keller. He's come off the transfer list and he scored a goal. Beautiful stuff. Yes, I don't know why you even put him on the transfer list. I think you were just trying to be a bit cheeky and try and get some of the wage bill down, weren't you? So you could sign someone new. We don't need to because Keller's here and Keller's scoring goals. Yes, OK, Bob. Thank you very much. You don't need to rub it in. Yes, we did try to get rid of him. No, it wasn't to try and get rid of transfer money. But, you know, these things happen. Keller again. Oh, it's not. It's Sonny Algefri. <laughs> We've turned it round, boys. We've turned it round. Algefri, 
What a header in off the post. Dominic again. Yeah, Dominic, see, delivery is fantastic. Curran, off you come and give Sheldon a run. That should do nicely. Dominic with the corner again. Ricky J. Jones trying to get there. Sheldon picks up the loose ball. Sheldon. Oh, my God. If we lose now because of... There's a couple of minutes to go. Surely not. Sheldon, you're meant to be coming on to do a bit of extra work in there. That is close. That is close. You're going to be the poacher. Oh, Ricky J. Jones gets it away. What would he rather be? An advance forward. All right, we'll do that then instead. An advance forward and a poacher. It's the same thing, isn't it? Four minutes have added on time to go. Calm down, boys. Anson, you are, I tell you, that keeper, he is absolutely unbelievable. Dominic wins the ball again. No, he didn't. Oh, no. No, no, not like this. They got runners. Anson's there again, I tell you. The goalkeepers, we, no matter what save we go with, I get a big, meaty goalkeeper, and they are fantastic until we get a really good one. But, you know, he's, for this level of football, he's good. No, 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 free, free. There's still a few minutes to go. There's still a few minutes to go. We shouldn't be losing this. We should, well, we're drawing it. Can I not do a shout? Final whistle goes. It's 3-3. Three, three. <sighs> we're a point off the top. We're still up there. Didn't play well, but we got happy with the result. Really? Well, things have gone a bit weird there. Crew winning as well. Crew, who were down there, beating Oxford. So it was a real topsy-turvy few games going on. Goals galore between us lot. Looking at the schedule, Wigan, MK Dons. It's got to be somewhere around there, I would say. Well, thank you very much for watching, boys and girls. Not the episode we hoped for today. Yes, Plymouth a loss, Bolton a draw. Things aren't quite as rosy as what we was hoping them to be. But my goodness me, we will soldier on and hopefully get through this and uh, get some of these injuries back. Definitely costing us. But at least Keller scored. Thank you very much. See you next time out. Goodbye.